Hi folks, what's new in your life? I hope that everything's fine and it's a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're gonna watch uh, Dave Chappelle 3 AM in Getta. In the Getta, maybe my prediction, my guess, uh, what will be it all about? Maybe about gangsters, maybe about some criminals, about drugs, maybe about uh, kind of almost death, maybe not. I am a Russian and I have been learning English for two years and I want to improve it through this video too. And you can help me through communication with me in the comment section. I try to to answer to all comments, but sometimes I don't, but I try. Okay, thank you <laughs> a lot. Let's go watching. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel, by the way, and click like button. Let's go. Too much pressure. That's my problem. I can't, I can't handle pressure. Sometimes pressure makes me talk different. I'm serious. You ever have like that social pressure? You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make you fake? Like, they come and be like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, fine, how are you? And you're like, I don't even talk. It is a reflection, uh, it is a reflection mind inside of us. We like to reflect from pe to people. Like that. I get sick of that shit. I do, it just makes me sick. Sometimes I'll talk crazy just to make myself feel better. You ever do that? Just start talking like crazy. Like, you ever hear this voice? Man. Man. That's, that's how bad guys used to talk in the 40s. In the old days. See, I, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I gotta, I gotta cut loose. And if the police pull me over, I, I'll talk crazy. Son, son. Do you know why we pulled you over? Nah, because I'm black, see? That's right. Nah. Is it uh, like uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? <laughs> like this way. Hello, Patrick. I'm ready! I'll do it. Who's ready? I'm ready. Who's ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm pa I'm Patrick. <laughs> What a stupid idea, SpongeBob. Yes. It's not illegal to talk like that. How do they know I don't talk like that every day? Stop talking like that. Stop talking like white copper. Nah. That's how I talk, see? You gotta make life interesting like that, because this shit is flimsy. Life is flimsy. You, you think you're gonna live forever, but you're not gonna live forever. It's dangerous out here. We know what's going on. I travel now, you know. I used to think D.C. had the roughest ghettos in the country. Nah, nigga, uh-uh. <laughs> I have seen some shit now. <laughs> oh, there's some rough, rough areas outside of D.C. Yeah, everybody should go to the ghetto. I was taken to the ghetto one time. That's the worst. When you get taken and you're not expecting to go, you know, usually you want to know when you're going to get it, like, I'm going to see some wild shit. I got to prepare myself. I'm going to see something crazy. <laughs> when you're taking it, it's different. I had a limousine driver. It was after a show. It was late at night. It was like 3 in the morning. I had a limousine driver. He was a nice guy talking to me and shit. Oh, hey, where you from, dog? <laughs> D.C.? Word? <laughs> That's a rough city, man. <laughs> and his cell phone started ringing. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh, what's up, nigga? What? What the fuck? Slow down. What? What the fuck? No! 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 Fuck that, nigga. Fuck it. I'm on my way. I don't understand it fully. Maybe it is kind of a uh, specific uh, black people joke. I was working at Otto as a doorman and I communicated with taxi drivers a lot. And uh, they they did different uh, transportation deals. They did uh, kind of logistics, and they talked stories about that. They uh, they drive with some superstars like football stars and uh, different types of them. And uh, okay, but this story is what. Uh, what this joke is all about. Please let me know. I don't know. Hey. I gotta make a stop real quick. Ah, like, 
Like someone said to him that need to stop or what? At three o'clock in the morning. I didn't know he was taking me to the ghetto at first. I saw looking out the window, I was like, what the fuck? Is gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? Like everywhere is gun store and liquor store. We don't have gun stores in Russia, by the way. Legal gun stores. Not so much. This don't look good. He didn't say shit. He just pulled up in front of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, I never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but it certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> a, a, a fucking crackhead ran this way. <laughs> crackhead? Crackhead? Is it uh, like person who with drugs? Crackhead. A person who habitually takes crack cocaine. Yes. And then, and then another one jumped out of a tree and shit. <laughs> and I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> and left me. Took the keys with him and just left me. At three o'clock in the morning, in front of a project in a fucking limousine. <laughs> this was not good. I was like, man, I gotta look around and see if I can see some landmarks and figure out where I'm at. Might have to escape on foot. <laughs> now, this is when I knew I was in a bad neighborhood. You only see this in the worst neighborhoods. Remember, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I look out the window. It was a fucking baby standing on a corner. <laughs> look at this. What, uh, what did this baby do? And the baby, the baby didn't even look scared. He was just standing there. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Davy. Davy. Billy Royce. I mean, it made me sad. It made me sad, really. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to help the baby. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't trust you either. I'm sorry. Click. Click. The old baby on the corner trick, eh? I'm not gonna fall for that shit. Where's this limousine driver? You know, I stopped feeling bad. As time goes by, I start feeling worse. Like, man, what is wrong with me? What the hell's wrong? I'm scared of a baby. <laughs> and this baby could be in trouble. He might need my help. I gotta do something. But I wasn't gonna get out the car. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I just cracked the window a little bit. There's an old limousine. I can roll it down. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> baby, go home, man. It's three o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing up? The baby said, I'm selling weed, nigga. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> like, uh, they earn money through this way. We have in Russia type, types of drug dealers, too. They do, I want to say, they do specific packing, geocaching of, uh, of drugs. Like, example. You can look at a bus stop and inside of bus stop maybe will be small crack. Small crack, not like a cocaine, but crack of a hole. Like in the hole in the ground they lift a hobbit, but small one. And uh, there inside you can find kind of drugs. They, they left them there and they leave them here and uh, someone pay for it money but if you will be caught then you will appear in the prison I wasn't expecting it <laughs> I'm sorry I had to buy two bags from the car let me get two, let me get two coins yeah. got back in the car and rolled me a joint man so that shit was scary, man. Every once in a while, like a crackhead would come up to the car and look in the window. It was like Jurassic Park and shit. He'd be looking on the car. Jurassic Park. Hey, get out of here, cracky. 
That baby was still standing there, man. That's what then I started feeling bad again. Yeah, weed make you feel guilty sometimes, you know. Man, what is wrong with me, man? I have just bought weed from, a, from an infant. Infant, this small baby. I can't condone this kind of behavior. What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. <laughs> Gotta do something. <laughs> hey, baby. Go away. Stop selling weed, all right? You got your whole life ahead of you. He said, fuck you, nigga, I got kids to feed. I said, God, dang. Like uh, he did uh, counter-attacking. Sam. <laughs> and just at that very moment, one of the crackheads was running across the street and got hit by a car. I know it was a hit and run. The police did it. Oh, so he didn't run. That's all right. They sprinkled some crack on him. He got back up. <laughs> I didn't understand the last words, but okay. Okay, nice. Nice, hilarious. And uh, amazing stand-up with a nice... Uh, with a nice uh, vibe. That baby was Kevin Hart. Uh, someone wrote Kevin Hart. Who is he again? I googled him. Yes, Kevin Hart. It is, uh, why... why? Do we have so big a amount of related content to him? I got kids to feed. Gets me every time. Ah, like he's a baby, but... Ah, yes, funny, 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 funny. Kron has have motion-based vision. Like, if something will move, then they will understand that someone do action. Certainly had the familiar symptoms of a project. I don't understand it. Believe it or not, that baby was Elon Musk. Okay. Thank you a lot for watching this video. It was funny to watch it. And you can recommend more of this stuff in the comment section below. Please recommend something that will not be copyrighted. It will be really nice. And uh, I will review it. Yes. Have a wonderful day, have nice moments in your life, always improve yourself daily. I want to make you stronger, I want to make America great again, yes, uh, I want to learn English and to move to this country. I do many of work of improving my English, I do reading, I do writing, I do watching and uh, improving listening, I do sometimes speaking, need also to learn need to learn by heart some words i understand mm -hmm. it will be a good idea like M mary had a little lamp whose uh, whose uh, whose what this type of whose skin was whose skin was white as snow yes thank you a lot i forgot it was fleece whose fleece was white as snow and everywhere that mary went you can continue it in the comment section below. See you next time. Be cool.